There's another verse in Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Yes. Yes, Karan Sahas Songa, Onubra Kosingasan Nojik Jao, Ra Kachoko Samaima, Saita Pamolai, Kripa Onubra Prata Garna Sakom. Yes. Again, it says, Come boldly. The Yapani Ferry, come boldly, boldly, Bonita, Sahas, Granida, Vaira, Say Agaria Bonita. Don't be afraid. Yeah, not at all, Bonita. You are welcome. In fact, come closer and closer. Come right into the throne of grace. So that you can obtain mercy. And you can find grace. And you can find help from God. Where is the throne of grace? The throne of grace is the throne of God Almighty. Where is that? That's in the throne room of heaven. We read a description about that in Revelation chapters 4 and 5. It's an amazing place. The four seraphim are flying around above the throne of grace. And God the Father sits on the throne. And now the Lord Jesus Christ sits at his right hand. And there are 24 elders on thrones all around. And then there is a great uh, place of crystal, beautiful place. And the angels of heaven and the redeemed in heaven gather there in front of the throne. And the Spirit of God says, Go boldly before the throne. Come out of the crowd of the angels on that crystal sea. Uh, go past the 24 thrones of the elders. Go past the four seraphim flying around the throne of God. Come right up to the Father. Father, I'm here. What are you going to do with me? You told me to come. And come boldly. I thank you, Father. You have made the way open through the blood of Christ. And I'm now closer to you than even the greatest angels. You are my father. 
I am your son, your daughter. So let's talk about life. And you can tell him what's on your heart. You can ask him questions about things that are uh, on your heart. And he will speak. And he will speak to you. One time, a long time ago, uh, I was a missionary in uh, Indonesia. missionary and for one year I was the manager of our missionary operation. I was a manager over 65 families. And I had a big office. But I told my two sons that they could come into my office any time they wanted to. And I told, I told the secretary outside if my sons come and they want to talk to me, you let them come right in. It doesn't matter who else is in my office. Even if the governor has come to talk to me about some things. I want my sons to know they can come boldly to see their father any time. And they did. Maybe they're running around outside playing. And they're hot and they're sweaty. And they get the idea, let's go talk to Father. And they push the door open and they come into my office. I say, if the governor is there, I say, excuse me for a moment. And I get up from my desk and I go out in front. <coughs> and I kneel down to their level. <coughs> And I say, you are welcome. How can I help you? That's the way our Father in Heaven wants us to come to Him. Come boldly before the throne of God. Because the kingdom of heaven is based on fellowship. Okay. Now, if you would turn to Ephesians chapter 3, starting with verse 7. No, no, yeah. Chapter 3, verse 7, don't read it. Read verse 8. 
पद आठ लाइन में एफएससी अध्याय तीन को पद आठ सब सतर में म अत्यंत तुच्छ भापी ख्रीस्ट को अगम्य संपत्ति को सुसमाचार अन्य जाति प्रचार करूँ वाले मैं ये अनुग्रह दियो He speaks about the unsearchable riches of Christ. He wants to show us something that is very, very deep. In verse 9 he says, I want to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. Okay. 